Hi there, I'm Justin Wissenhunt from Montana Instruments, and today I'm going to teach you how to operate your open loop nano positioners in our Gen 3 cryo station. To get started, switch to the positioner instrument by pressing the button in the lower left corner of the display and then selecting the positioner button. All cryo station control will continue to operate normally in the background. This is the main operate view for your positioners. Each positioner stack is controlled individually and you can select the stack you want to operate by pressing the stack button and choosing the stack to control. If you only have a single stack installed in your system, it will automatically be selected for you. The axes for the current stack are shown across the top of the display. Only one axis on each stack can be controlled at a time. Select an axis to control by pressing on the axis name at the top of the display. Each axis has independent settings for the current movement mode and waveform settings. This allows you to customize the step size and movement speed for each axis individually. In the settings menu, you can customize the name used to identify each stack, as well as each axis. You can also flip the orientation for each axis to match your desired coordinate system. Axes can also be turned off here. To operate an axis, first change the waveform settings to achieve your desired motion. The amplitude and frequency of the driving sawtooth waveform can be adjusted for coarse or fine movement. The drive voltage generally correlates to step size and a higher drive voltage will cause a larger piezo deflection resulting in larger steps. Keep in mind that piezo actuators lose a large amount of their deflection capability as they are cooled to temperatures near absolute zero. So the drive voltage will need to be increased as temperature decreases in order to maintain the same step size. The drive frequency generally correlates with speed of motion and a higher drive frequency will cause more steps per unit time, resulting in faster motion. After setting up the waveform, you can choose to move the stage continuously or by a selected number of steps. Use the arrow buttons to move the stage around. The left arrows move the stage in a negative direction, and the right arrows move the stage in a positive direction. The icons on the buttons will change to remind you whether you are in continuous mode or step mode. When in step mode, the number of steps taken with each button press can be changed using the number of steps button. As the stage is moved around, a relative waveform counter counts the number of steps taken to provide an estimated position. Press set zero to reset the relative step count for the axis to zero, much like a tripometer in your car. If you switch axes, any axis movement that is currently in operation will be stopped. Again, each axis has independent settings to make it easier to switch back and forth between axes where different step sizes are being used. When you've finished moving your stage, you can use the ground button to ground all axes on the current stack. I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to operate your nano positioners in our Gen 3 cryo station. 
See you next time.